In this video, we're going to look at creating a Hive note and the different ways you can incorporate Hive notes into your workflows. Notes live at the bottom right hand of our screen. And when opening notes, you can see that you can see your notes and those notes that have been shared with you. And you can also see notes grouped by projects. And here's a note that was created today. Now we can add a new note here by clicking new note. But also we can create a new note from a home page. So let's visit a project homepage and I'll show you where to do that. So here is the home page for this project. And down here you'll see that there's a project note with the add new note button. So I'm going to go ahead here and create a new note from the, this window. So notes can be used in various ways. You can use these for client meetings, capturing minutes, collecting your thoughts on a specific project or a piece of work. And they're particularly powerful as you can track all your notes in one note and you can also assign them out within projects. You can see here I can add a new entry to create a new note above this one here. So let me just shrink that one down and I'll start work in this one. Now I'm going to very quickly create a status meeting note. So let's call this let's call this the weekly meeting agenda. And within the body, let's just add an agenda here. Okay. And from this, we can create certain types of formatting. So let's just highlight here and you'll see the toolbox will open. And from the toolbox, you can add a hyperlink, you can place headers, format the text, color it, indent it, create bullets or numbered notes and highlight. Now, what I'd like to do here is I'm just going to give these numbers and that suits me fine. I'm also going to bold this agenda. Wonderful. Now, what I'd like to do here is create a, a section called next steps. So there we have it. And within this, this is where we can track what actions come out of this meeting. So everybody knows what is expected of them. And also you can track these accordingly. So let's just set up a quick next step. Quickly type my spelling. Right, okay, so that is my next step. And in recording this, what I'm able to do in Hive Notes is I'm able to make this straight into an action. So I'm going to highlight my text here, back to my toolbox, and I'm going to click my little um, Create Action sign. And now when I'm ready, I can open up this action and have a look at its details. But for now, in Notes, I'm going to assign it to myself. I'm going to give it a due date. So let's give it a due date of this Thursday. And within this project, this the social plant tracking project has phases. And this is sitting within the ideas phase. So I'm going to move that to planned. Now let's open up this action with open action. And you can see that this is now a live action card within my projects. To be able to see which project is linked to your note. You can see that here at the top and you can also change that. Now, if I hit enter, I can keep adding additional action cards. There we have them. And again, from here, I can change these due dates and change assignments should I choose to. And that is our note setup. Now we can share our notes and we can invite others into our notes. So if we click our share button, this will allow us to add our team members, teams or emails to this note. And when you do that, they'll receive a notification that a note was shared with them. The other thing I can do with my note is I can email this note straight out. So if I come to my three dot menu and select email, you'll notice that it opens my email 
message and below it is the my agenda points with my action cards listed and I can add in who I want to send this to I can give it a subject and then add the body of the email as well and it's all formatted and ready to send so this is really handy when it comes to sharing minutes from meetings and for those team members on the email receiving your note they can click here in open in hive and then they can come straight to the hive note and take action mark it things complete for you so a few further features to think about what we need to remember is come back to our note is go to will take us to the action card straight away we can reorder these so let's say we wanted to set up the review meeting first if i drag and drop with my little hand i can see it grips and I can change this order. Super handy. This also happens with any item inside the, the view. If I'm working through my projects, I can mark them complete from here. And if they're marked complete within the action card, this will reflect in your meeting note as well or your hive notes. And that's a very handy way to keep track of status quickly. Now, when I click back out of here, you can see all of my notes and I'll come to my homepage and you'll see the notes that I've created on this day. Now, you'll notice this says note created 12.7. So I'm going to give it a, a title. I'm going to come here and I'm going to call it weekly meeting. And for filing purposes, this is very useful in order to manage a number of notes. So if I click out, you'll see a change and here is and that is how we create a Hive note, assign actions from a Hive note, and integrate it into our workflow.